the colonel. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause. And this despite, and perhaps because of, your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassins sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Mind your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads! And man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize it has been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> You will, uh, forgive me if I have been, uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Guest, I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Well, the Colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision-making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct, and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to, then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of a colonial right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis's? Either. Though I suspect the King's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. And O'Murphy is in the French King's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg.
Crap! Floating cargo for the taking, sir. We're bearing down on those rocks, Captain. Those the garlands and right. Jay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late. Last of them. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your men to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. 
Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect a friend to defend that. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove you will only see the Templars not to call me. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, wouldn't you say? Perhaps. Cover! Keep it together, men! I'll take out as many as I can. Your man moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. Hurry. Kasegawase will not relent. Kasegawase? You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin. As I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. We have been. We collide. 
find cannons as well to find them. You really think we can't catch you? Ah, I can get him from here! Anything, shoot him! Clear shot! A shot. <laughs> ah. You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Say! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir. I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once, Master Cormac. Meet me there. <laughs> 